Hi, this is uh, Bam Fun. I've got a test catapult that we've been using to calculate how much energy these uh, pneumatic pistons that VEX puts out. This particular catapult uh, is a configuration that has a 45 degree release angle. It uses uh, two pistons each of them connected to utilize almost their full stroke. We uh, have stops on the side of the catapult right here on each side to keep the pistons from hammering at the bottom so that it's slightly less than the full stroke. The pistons are driven on this particular model by a single solenoid valve. We have the open-ended ports on one on the uh, opposite side of the piston. This allows the air to escape freely without having to go through the solenoid valve port. And to compensate for the solenoid valve not having a plug into the one side of the piston, we put a, a, uh, a block on the exit, or not on the exit port, but on the B port of the solenoid valve. On the input side of the solenoid valve, you can see here we have a regulator. We have a, a blocking switch which is in series with the inflation uh, tire uh, pressure uh, input point. And then we tie two tanks together to provide the tank pressure. Okay, this is the deluxe catapult configuration. It has two solenoid valves and two pistons, two regulators, two tanks, and their tanks are tied together with a common pressure feed. So here's where the air enters. We've taken the input valve out of the main line of airflow we put a T in here so it can feed two tanks and then each tank has more or less a direct feed through a straight T going into the regulator valve right here. And the same thing on the other side. We've got a T going into the regulator, going into the solenoid valve, solenoid valve down to the lower end of the piston A and this is piston B fed by the second solenoid valve. Each solenoid valve has a blocking uh, switch on the B port to keep the air from escaping when we switch the uh, solenoid valve off. Okay, this is a, a single cylinder test configuration. It's identical to the dual cylinder single solenoid valve configuration. The only difference is that we've removed one of the cylinders and so the solenoid valve is feeding just the bottom side of that cylinder 
and the top side remains open. And in the back we still have dual cylinders feeding a single regulator valve feeding the single solenoid valve.